people freaked out after an active duty Green Beret, who also competes on the U.S. men's bobsled team, posted a pic with Ivanka Trump. After getting a firestorm of liberal backlash, he shut them up with four brutal words, and this guy deserves a medal. A 30-year-old active duty Green Beret and Olympic bobsledder named Nathan Weber just broke Twitter in half after he posted a picture of himself, his two young daughters and Ivanka Trump at the Winter Olympic Games in Pyeongchang, South Korea. At first, Weber tried to play Mr. Nice Guy, but after liberal hacks continued their hate parade, he utterly destroyed them. Weber, who is from Pueblo, West Colorado, set the internet on fire after he tweeted the following response to a picture posted by White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders, regardless of your politics. You have to admit that it's pretty cool when at Ivanka Trump invites your kids to watch the hashtag Olympics with her. It was an amazing experience for them. Hashtag Team USA. Instantly, the liberal haters on Twitter started firing ugly tweets back at Weber for his kind-hearted expression of appreciation toward Ivanka. One user named Michael James Reed said, Nope, won't admit that at all. Score one for Ivanka and the fun publicity photos she and her buddy at Presque got though. Hashtag not my president and hashtag not normal. Immediately after I read the tweet from Reed, I began to wonder if any of Weber's liberal respondents would show a little class. They didn't. Another resentful Twitter user named Doc Parker said, No, I don't think it would be cool to have my kids used as a prop to make any member of the Trump family look less evil. I might want to start teaching my kids values early. Of course, several American patriots weighed in on Weber's post to congratulate him, wish him well, and thank him for serving our country. At the same time, the liberal hate kept right on flowing. But Weber wasn't about to just sit there and take it. His next tweet made liberals even more incensed. Here's another tweet for everyone that didn't like at Ivanka Trump being absolutely wonderful to my children. Her and my daughters were like best friends today. It was a truly special experience for them. Hashtag thank you, Weber wrote. By this time, Weber had gotten the attention of quite a few liberals who were all foaming at the mouth and posting the nastiest tweets about his pick with Ivanka. Whatever happened to, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all? Seriously, the toxic level of filth thrown at Weber was a new low for liberals. This didn't seem to phase the Green Beret at all, and he hit right back with the four words the left hates most. So apparently all I have to do to grow my Twitter following is tweet something some people don't like. So here it goes. Hashtag manga hashtag no 8. He wrote, although it came in acronym form, those four words are unmistakable. Make America great again is the perfect thing to say to millions of liberal jerks on social media. I think that put things into perspective for anyone wondering how Weber feels about President Donald Trump and our country. Speaking of perspective, it's important to note that while most other Olympians trained with their teams in some comfortable and expensive facility over the past couple of years, Weber prepared himself for Pyeongchang while he was deployed in Africa and Afghanistan during combat. When he wasn't fighting enemy combatants, Weber trained by pushing military vehicles, pulling loads of bricks, and sprinting down dusty roads in the deadening heat. Training for the Olympics is definitely harder than basic training just because here there's no one to tell you to do it. Weber told NBC's Hans Nichols. Weber's Olympic training took place in Niger, Cameroon and Afghanistan. While other Olympic athletes enjoyed the comfort of their own homes and families, Weber was overseas and away from his two little girls. According to Today, Weber was able to fly his two little girls to the Olympic Games in Pyeongchang after opening a GoFundMe page to help him with the travel expenses. When I think about overcoming adversity and having solid character, Weber is a shining example. Sadly, on Tuesday, October 4, 2016, Weber lost his best friend and fellow Green Beret, Army Staff Sergeant Adam Thomas, on the battlefield. Thomas died in the Nangarhar province of Afghanistan from injuries caused by an improvised explosive device that exploded during dismounted operations, according to the Army Times. As he competed in the Olympic Games, Weber wore a special shirt under his bobsledding suit in honor of Thomas. He was a brother of mine and I want him there on top of the hill with me when we race. Weber told NBC's Hans Nichols before the games. Sergeant, first class Nathan Weber deserves the respect and gratitude of all Americans, 
regardless of their political views. His dedication to our country and his family is the embodiment of the American spirit. Thank God for true heroes like Weber who triumphed through adversity and sacrificed so much to make America great again. We can't think of anyone better to represent the United States in the Olympics.